Hello there. So I made a previous video on how to texture in Substance Painter for Second Life, and currently that's a little outdated. So I'm going to do a new tutorial in 2023 to show you how I do it now, which is even easier than it was before and provides better results. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go to Blender. I have my model here already done. And I've already uh, marked all the seams that I want to uh, unwrap the model with for the UV map. And uh, I'm, you'll have to do a different tutorial to figure out that stuff. Uh, maybe I'll make a tutorial uh, to do that. And it's all unwrapped over here. You just hit U, unwrap, and... If you have all the seams properly marked, um, it'll unwrap it and you'll have your UV map. I also want to state that you can have multiple textures in one Substance Painter file that you can texture simultaneously. So uh, if you have this top part and the bottom part, you want it to be different textures for the top and the bottom, then you can do that. You just have to uh, select the top part and then go over here and then create a new material in this little world material button here. You create a new one, you click new down here, and then you assign. And we don't want that, so we go back into object mode and hit minus to get rid of that one, and we assign it to top. And then we assign the bottom one to bottom. And now they will have their own texture. You unwrap that and then you select the bottom and unwrap that one. And now they have their own textures and they are UV mapped and ready to go into Substance Painter. We just uh, save as, we'll call it, Leather, mask, medieval, sure, why not? Save, and export as FBX. Save it into like an FBX mesh folder, same thing, export. Now we're going over to Substance Painter. This is a fresh Substance Painter. Uh, we go to new, file, new, and up here we select the mesh. So we look for leather mask. Yep, there we go. Let that load in. All right, at this point, you wanna look for anything that might look a little off, cause that will tell you that your UV map is wrong or there's just like, not that it's wrong, but like, it's just not optimized properly. And then, what we do is we go over to texture set settings. It'll look like this. There will be a bake mesh maps somewhere towards the bottom button. Click that. Uncheck ID. Uncheck average normals. And set anti-aliasing to 8x8. Eight eight. And then bake select textures. That's, uh, that's how I get my models ready. And now it's ready to texture. Okay. Now, in this current material view, I'm using a environment map, the panorama default. We want to set this to a custom two-sided panorama so that the front and the back are both evenly lit by a light source. And this is the, the ultimate trick to getting some really nice looking uh, textures. Because when we export, uh, we're gonna be using this 2D view as the texture with materials and everything. We don't go into base color anymore and play with light filters. Now that we have this environment that's two-sided, we don't need to do that. So now that we have this all set up, we can start actually texturing it. So we delete that. And 
This is a leather mask, so we just type leather. And we'll find a leather texture that looks good. Maybe I'll start with the top part first. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice. We want to look how it looks on... We want to make sure it looks good in the 2D view and in this material view. Maybe adjust some... of the colors. I won't get too into it. You know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, say we have this leather, we want to add black mask, and then click on this left side here, the square button, and this will let us assign uh, specific parts of the mesh, so we don't, you know, get that part, uh, these little uh, ties, we don't want that. And then we can scroll down in display settings, until we see wireframe opacity, Move that all the way to the left and you won't see that wireframe. It won't be in the way anymore. And uh, another texture that we want to add to the ties would be some kind of fabric. I believe this is the one I want to use. So we put it on top of the leather and then also add black mask and check that. And check this for UV or this for entire objects. So if I click an entire object, that whole object will be selected. And we just go in and add that there. Adjust the scale a bit of this texture. And let's just say that's how I want that. And we can Shift select these two to grab them and hit control C to copy go to another material layer for bottom and Control V to copy paste and then add black mask add black mask and then You want you want to make sure this white for uh, for when you want to add a texture you click when it's white to add you slide it over to black to remove. So we're adding the ties back in and now we're adding the leather back in. And this is pretty much good to go. I'm obviously going to spend more time finishing this and making it look nicer than that, but this is just a basic uh, how to texture tutorial. And You'll want to adjust things like the metallic, maybe, on some things. Maybe just general things to make this look nicer, uh, this texture nicer will help. And also you can adjust in display settings, environment exposure will darken the texture or lighten it however you like and uh, the another important thing is the shader settings so in the top right there's the shader settings buttons I use Adobe Dimension uh, that is important you need to be in Adobe Dimension to use this current method of texturing that I do so once this is how you like it and it's all textured the way you want we got to export the textures so we go to export textures i only do one at a time so we'll grab the top and asl default is the one that i use and i will show it on screen what it looks like this is the my default export preset for exporting textures to second life the texture uses 2d view rgb the normal uses normal opengl rgb and the specular 
uses glossiness squared with uh, RGB, but set to grayscale. So <clears throat> once you have that set up, you'll be able to text uh, to export the textures with that preset that you made uh, and export open output directory. These textures will be ready to go for Second Life. You just put them in your pictures folder. And then you go back to Blender. And now these parts I want to have separate. So we'll select the bottom piece, hit P, selection. Now these two meshes are separate objects. And I also want to make sure that these ties are also a separate um, texture face so that they can be um, colored differently than the leather. So you just add a new material and assign it. And I'll do the same thing up here for the ties on the mask. Assign it. And now they have two different materials for each piece. And it's ready to upload to Second Life. And you just save that real quick. And then you go to export, file export. You uh, want to export it as Colada DAE. Save that to your DAE mesh file folder. Leather Mask Medieval DAE, export Colada, then open Second Life, go to Build, Upload, Mesh Model, and Leather Mask Medieval, open. Now, the only things I do for an avatar attachment uh, when I'm uploading to Second Life is generate auto, change that to use LOD above, and generate auto, use LOD above. So you want LOD above for medium and low on attachments so that they can be seen from pretty much whatever distance. Uh, it'll never be in world, so you don't need to worry about land impact. So you calculate weights and fees and upload. <clears throat> now, once the model's in Second Life, you can res it in world or wear it, whatever you want to do. And we want to upload, build, upload, bulk to grab those textures. These are the three textures for the top piece and then select the top piece and drag the texture to the texture slot in the texture menu go to bumpiness drag the normal to normal to the the bumpiness slot and then shininess you drag specular to that slot and now your model is textured and uploaded to second life we'll go back we'll grab that bottom piece Export it and drag it to pictures. <clears throat> Go back to Second Life, build, upload, bulk. Grab those three new textures. Select the bottom piece. Add the texture. Add the normal. Add the specular and you're good to go. This model is finished. You've textured it and it looks great. It's got lighting on the front and back evenly. And uh, this is a finished piece. So I hope that helps and good luck out there. Keep creating, stay safe and have a good day.